Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing something a little bit different and I am super excited about it because I have been aching to bring you more home decor. Like I wanna do makeovers, I wanna tile, I wanna paint a wall, but unfortunately I can't do that right now because I am still in an apartment. But one day I will be bringing all of that to the channel. But until then I had to get a little creative and I was thinking the other day, how can I do this today? How can I bring more design as far as like makeovers and things that are just living in my head that I am dying to get out? How can I bring that to the channel? So I thought, what about doing a little bit of virtual design? Now I know that I don't have a space to show you. However, watch this video because I think you're going to really like it. This video is going to be all about the guest bedroom and there is reason. I feel like the guest bedroom is such a good way to get started on interiors and home decor because I think it really makes you pull yourself out of the design and think about it for someone else. I also think it's a really great way to get to know the feeling that you're trying to achieve and just thinking a little bit more outside side of the box. So that's reason number one. But also I was kind of thinking, depending on how this video goes, maybe I could do a little bit of virtual design for some of you and put it on the channel. So we're testing it out. Today's a little bit of a test. And like I said, we're starting with the guest bedroom. I did put together a little guest bedroom mood board. However, before we get into that mood board, there's a couple of things I want to talk about when creating a guest bedroom that I think is critical to the design. If you don't have a designated guest bedroom, don't let this video scare you because if you are using, whether it's an office that you converted into a guest bedroom or a kid's room that you, you know, put your guests in, you can still create this feeling in that room, even without it being a designated bedroom or guest bedroom, I guess I should say. <laughs> before I even get into anything as far as design, before we even pick paint colors, furniture, rugs, whatever, the number one one question, the most important question that I ask, whether that's friends and family, clients, whatever, is how do you want this space to feel? That question is so important because I think personally, when it comes to interiors, I think all of us are really after the feeling. Although decor does help, don't get me wrong, and we love pretty things, creating that feeling is going to create a whole experience for your guests and for yourself in your home. When it comes to the guest bedroom, I think it's the easiest way to capture feeling because we can all relate to a feeling or recreate a feeling that we've experienced, whether that is in a hotel, a bed and breakfast, a family's house, a friend's house, whether, whether we stay there or not, when you go to a friend's house and you, or a restaurant even, a restaurant, bathroom, you absorb a feeling. And I think a guest bedroom is the easiest place to recreate this in your own home and such a good way to get some good practice in before doing the rest of your house as far as when you start really getting serious in transitioning your spaces. For me, I think creating a guest bedroom that has an amazing experience. It just is so wonderful. I love to romanticize life and to really create just this beautiful experience for my guests and something I really want to do in the future. Right now, it's a little hard being in a one bedroom apartment, but in the future, this is something I absolutely want to pay special attention to because to me, I think there's nothing better than going somewhere and having an amazing experience. Like I said, whether that's a hotel, a restaurant, whatever the case, you leave thinking like, man, I wanna go back there. I wanna take my friend there. I want to take my husband there, my wife there, my partner there, whatever. Experience is so critical and something I think we all can relate to. So once you have decided the feeling of the room that you wanna create, now it's time to determine the vibe. This is where you're going to determine the design style, how you want the space to read, how you want the space to look. You're gonna get the feeling and then you're gonna get the look and then you're gonna marry the two together and create the most magical guest bedroom. So for me, like I said, I'm in a one bedroom apartment so I don't have a guest bedroom to share with you. However, one day I will and I'll be looking back at this video and we'll be like, we did it. But today, 
We're playing with our imagination and we're pretending like we are designing a guest bedroom for myself. Now, for me, if I had a guest bedroom today, this is exactly what I would do when it comes to how I want the space to feel. I have spent the past few years really refining my style, getting to know my style, and I really want to make sure that that style, that look, that feeling threads into the guest bedroom. I don't want the guest bedroom to feel like it's on its own island. I really want it to feel like the rest of my home. So when our guests are staying, they're in their room, it feels cohesive with the rest of the home. However, I do want to add even more like tropical feeling to the room. We live in the desert and although it's not tropical, it is a vacation destination. So I think that kind of creating that vacation vibe in that room really just makes sense. But if you live somewhere that maybe doesn't have that vacation vibe and you wanna, maybe you live in the in the woods and you want it to have a little bit more of like that Ralph Lauren, like, you know, cozy, dark vibe, then you could go with that. Or maybe you live on the beach and you want it to be really light and airy, then that's the vibe you might wanna go for. Or maybe you live on the East Coast and you really want it to feel very like cottage, cozy, cozy cottage. <laughs> I don't know what the vibe is that you're going for, but whatever the case is, I think making sure it's cohesive with the rest of your house is important because when the, the guests come into your home, you don't want it to feel like odd. Like it's just like, it's like a themed room. I guess you could do whatever you want. Personally for me, I want it to be cohesive. So when it comes to the decor of the room, I do want it to feel very similar to the rest of my house. But when it comes to the vibe of the room, it will feel a little different. So just a couple of things when it comes to vibe that I want to create in my home as I or in the guest bedroom. I do want them to feel feel like they are on vacation and I want to have different things in there like a coffee bar, a mini bar, a mini fridge. I want that for them. I want them to feel comfortable and if they get thirsty in the middle of the night, they can go in the mini fridge that's stocked full of water and you know their favorite soft drinks or a little mini bar if they're hungry but everyone went to bed and they don't want to go into the kitchen. They have a little mini bar that they could, you know, kind of go to and get some snacks from. I just really want them to feel comfortable. And to me, I think that is something that would be so cool to add to a space. Now, if you don't have a designated guest bedroom, you can still create this vibe in whether that's your kid's room that your family's staying in, whether that's your office, put an extra little lamp in there, put a, you know, an espresso in there with some coffee. Don't forget the mugs, get a little tray. So you have some sugar and some mugs and different things, just different things to make them feel thought of and that you created that vibe for them, even though it is maybe an office that you put a bed in for the week for them. Creating this vibe that just helps them feel like their walls are down, like they feel comfortable and like you thought of them, I think goes a long way. There is nothing better than having the most amazing experience and either thinking about that or remembering that or it's such a good experience that you want to bring, you know, your friends to, your husband, your spouse, whatever. Maybe you can't bring people to your to your family's house or your friend's house, but you can remember that experience. So creating an experience for your guests that they're going to remember, I think is just super cool. Okay, so we're going to dig a little bit deeper into what I'm talking about. Now, I created a little mood board. It's nothing complete, I would say. I just wanted to really help capture the feeling because to me, this is the most important thing. And once you can really dig deep and get to know feeling, you can take that into the rest of your home, kind of replicate that in your living room, in your dining room, in your kitchen. You know, maybe you don't have like a mini fridge and a mini bar, but it's maybe you put candles or different light fixtures and different things in different rooms that really help create this feeling. Maybe in your entryway, you have a little candy dish, you know, little things like that. I think really is the things that take a house to a home. So on this little guest board, okay, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to do this. And I have been dreaming up a guest bedroom for so long because my husband and I, as we've talked about buying a home, we have really, really talked about having a separate guest bedroom, like wing, we would hope, because we have so many guests that come visit us and I cannot wait to create a guest bedroom 
of my dreams. So I have a whole Pinterest, like it's kind of private right now because I was waiting to hopefully be able to do a makeover with you guys. However, that's just not where we're at today. So we're gonna look at the mood board for today and I can literally close my eyes and see this guest bedroom. Like I just, I've been thinking about it for so long. So for me, again, I really want it to thread like it's the rest of my home. I want it to complement the rest of my decor. So I will add basically what I have in the rest of my home. But some unique things that I wanna do to a guest bedroom when we have one is, and what would be a bonus is if it had a bathroom connected to it. Oh, that would be the dream and a door to outside dream. That would be the dream. Creating a guest bedroom, I really want them to feel almost as if they're staying at a boutique hotel or a bed and breakfast. I want to have a mini fridge and mini bar. Now, whether this is something separate from the coffee station that I want to have, or it's all together, it's something I really do want to put in the guest bedroom. I think that this really does create comfort for our guests and something I think is just next level <laughs> and something I wanna do. I was thinking about this a little bit more and I was thinking if you had a designated guest bedroom, for me, I would almost maybe even put this in the closet because oftentimes your guests, I mean, I don't take myself out of my uh, suitcase, but I know some guests do. So using half of a closet and the other half keeping it open for them to hang their clothes. Also as bedside tables, I would do dressers, which I like anyway, we have them in our room so they can, you know, put their folded clothes in the drawers, things like that. But you can really kind of get creative or if you had the space, you could do a whole different area, whether that's just like a, like when you stay at a hotel, they have, you know, the counter space and then the mini fridge underneath. You could do that as well. I would also love to put a little bistro table in there that they could sit and have their coffee in the morning. Or like I said, having a door to the outside and right outside having a bistro table would be like so nice too. So when they watch, you know, the sunrise or whatever, if they got up that early. So to me, having a mini fridge full of waters, their favorite drinks, you can maybe even get to know your guests and know what they like. Like if they are someone who drinks tea, have that stocked in there for them. Ultimately, you just want them to feel thought of. I think that this is one of the best ways you could do that. As I mentioned, you don't have to have a designated guest bedroom to achieve this. You can put a tray in there with their favorite snacks and water. Water. You don't have to go all out. But if you were, a little mini fridge and a little Nespresso, Breville Nespresso machine would be the way that I would do it. Also putting in a little coffee machine into the room or tea kettle or you know whatever I think is super awesome for your guests because oftentimes we're not, when we wake up, we're not ready to just leave our hotel room, at least for me. I like need to wake up, need to shower, maybe do a little makeup. So being able to have a coffee machine in there and make my coffee right away in the morning is really, really nice. Same idea with the guest bedroom. Giving them a moment to themselves to just wake up to themselves, I think is such a great experience. For the guest bathroom, if I had this luxury to be able to create a, a guest bathroom alone, what I would put in there is the most luxurious things. I think that this is one of the best ways that you can create a luxurious experience for your guests because it's just like so nice sometimes to use a really good shampoo, conditioner, hand soap. I love it, I love it. So I definitely would make sure I have, whether that's Le Labo hand soap, and Aesop shampoo and conditioner, and Marvis toothpaste. Like I really want to just make them feel so special and Sometimes luxury items do this. So for me, I definitely want to put just beautiful, luxurious soaps, shampoo and conditioners, toothpaste, whatever in the guest bathroom. I don't know, I feel like that creates the ultimate experience. So, I mean, we're going all out here. So we're dreaming. And then the other last like special little touch that I have been really wanting to do is monogrammed sheets and I, this is like so silly, but I think it would be so cool to have like our like Jackson guest house or Jackson guest something on like, are you kidding me? That would be so cool 
so beautiful and I would want it in like an old world kind of print and vibe. But for the rest of the room, I would really want it to feel a little bit more serene and very cohesive with the rest of my, my home. So when it comes to the design of the room, the two words that I kind of come up with is old world and like British colonial, although very light on the British colonial. I don't want it to feel too like tropical in there, but a little bit of that I think would be so beautiful. And I think adding also in the guest bedroom, making sure we have blackout curtains and shears as well. Not just the blackout curtains, but the shears because maybe your guests go in their room, they wanna take a nap, but they don't necessarily need the blackout curtains and having the sheer curtains and if the windows open and it's flowing in, it would just be so magical. I love that. Now I do realize if you have an office room or a, you know, a room that you are converting into a guest bedroom for a temporary time, not all of these things you can do. However, like I said, you can swap out the sheets. You can add the little, um, mini bar in there. You could do little things that make it feel thought of, make your guests feel thought of and make them feel important. Adding a little Nespresso machine in there. It really is about capturing the feeling. Now, a going above and beyond with the design and like if you had that space that's where you could just take it to the next level so another thing that i would do to the guest bedroom is i would buy the fabrics that i dream of but i'm also a little bit afraid to purchase because of them getting maybe too used so things like this white headboard that i love and i've been thinking about it for our room for so long i even thought about making it but having this in a guest bedroom i think makes so much sense because it being white I think it being a low traffic room, I think it would, you know, hold up really, really well. Also with fabric headboards, you want to be careful because your oils from your head can transfer to the bed. And like I said, putting it in a guest bedroom, I think makes a lot of sense. That's not to say you can't get it for any other room. I was just saying, if you're a little bit afraid, this is a great way to play with a, a headboard like this. Also on this mood board, I have a sisal rug, which I love because I really wanted to create that more tropical vibe. However, a rug, like a like a white wool rug or a white rug is also a really great, op a guest bedroom is a great option for this as well because it's a low traffic area. So you could put in a rug that maybe you wouldn't put in a high traffic area in your home, but you can get away with it in a guest bedroom. I already love having like a three drawer dresser in our room. I think that having a more substantial piece on the side of our bed, it just feels right to me. I don't know why, I just really, really love it. But especially for the guest bedroom, because like I said earlier, if your guests like to unpack their luggage, this gives them so much space to do so, and they can use these drawers and have them completely empty for them. You might put a little hand cream in there for them, or you know, little things like that, but having it mostly empty is gonna be so nice for your guests, especially if they are the type of guests who like to unpack. And then the last thing I'm gonna mention on this mood board is lighting. Now, I think lighting is probably the number one thing that you can do in your home to capture that feeling because lighting does so much for a space. There is nothing worse than just really terrible lighting. So for me, I would want overhead lighting. So if they needed bright light, if they're packing or you know whatever, I'd want a task light on the bedside so that if they are reading, but their partner, if they have one with them, is sleeping, they can read. I learned this tip from a homeworthy episode and I just, it's really stuck with me. I wanna do it in our room as well. Also a lamp in there so that I would also wanna make sure that I have the lamp connected to the light switch somehow because I feel like oftentimes the lamp isn't gonna really be turned on sometimes unless it's with the light switch. So connect it to the light switch would be a bonus, but I think having lamp light is just, ugh. Oh. I am very serious about my lamp light. So I definitely wanna make sure that they have lamps in there. Another little bonus that you could do is creating a little like reading nook or nap area, whether that's like a chaise lounge or you know, a little task light next to that, like just really kind of going above and beyond in this guest bedroom. I mean, I probably would make my guest bedroom probably better than my main bedroom. I love creating that for for my guests. I just, I think it's just so fun. I think this is it when it comes to the guest bedroom. 
and I know I could have gone so much more in depth, but like I said, this video was meant to be a little bit more of like a trial video to see how you guys felt about this. Also, this mood board, I will link it down below if you saw something on the mood board that you like. That will be linked down below, but let me know your thoughts on this type of video, and if you'd like to see more of these in the future, I can go even more in depth, I can categorize them out even more, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of how I would design a guest bedroom and why I think even if you're not working on a guest bedroom, just brainstorming a guest bedroom and getting ideas for it can really help the rest of your home because you're gonna think of things that you wouldn't do for the rest of your house. However, thinking of those things could help the rest of your house if that makes sense. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. I would say we were good together